Hello everyone, welcome to scardia.com. My name is Dr. Saima Mushtaq and today we will talk about the menstrual cycle and hormonal disorders associated with the menstrual cycle. In this lecture we will cover first physiology of the menstrual cycle and in this section we will cover what is menstruation, what are the different organs involved in the process of the menstrual cycle and what are the different hormones of the menstrual cycle. In the second section of our lecture we will talk about the phases of menstruation in the ovary. In the ovary we have three phases of menstrual cycle. One is follicular phase, then next is ovulation and then in the third we will talk about the luteal phase and all the changes what's happening in the all these three phases of the menstrual cycle. Then we will talk about in the third section endometrial changes of the menstrual cycle and this endometrium is in the uterus so these changes are taking place in the uterus. So we will cover three main phases which are occurring in the endometrium of the uterus. One is proliferative phase, then we will talk about the secretory phase and in the third we will talk the shedding of the endometrium when the actual blood flow is occurring. In the fourth section of our lecture we will talk about the thyroid hormone disorder. Thyroid hormone is produced by thyroid gland and it plays very important role in the fertility and in the ovulation. So we will talk about that and then we will talk about what are the effects of low thyroid hormone which is hypothyroidism and what are the effects of the high thyroid hormone level which is hyperthyroidism. Then in the final section we will talk about another very important hormonal disorder very common in females of reproductive age which is polycystic ovarian syndrome polycystic ovarian syndrome and in the first first we will talk about the overview of polycystic ovarian syndrome how it appears, why it occurs, all that and then we will talk about some common signs and symptoms of polycystic ovarian syndrome and then also we will talk about the management of polycystic ovarian syndrome. So this is all we will talk about all this in this lecture and hopefully you are um, willing to learn more about this topic and to learn more about this topic keep watching scardia.com